What is heaven? And how would it be in heaven? What does it mean to be happy in heaven? What does it mean to have eternal peace in heaven? My honest answer is, I don't know. Because eye has not seen, ear has not heard. Our hearts have never experienced the joy, the peace that the Lord offers us in heaven. But among the spiritual writers, they say that heaven is like perpetual adoration of the Lord. What does it mean? You remember that we pray for four reasons. Adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, and supplication. Acts. When you pray with supplication, for supplication, with petition, there is something in your heart that is preoccupying you and you express your trust in the Lord who answers us in our needs. When you pray with thanksgiving, you have a blessing in your heart that you are grateful for and you want to say to the Lord, thank you for blessing me. When you pray your prayer of contrition, you have your sins in your heart and therefore you want to say, Lord, have mercy. But when you pray your moment of adoration, you have nothing in your mind but God himself. You carry nothing in your heart but God himself. And you look at nothing more but God himself. In other words, when we adore the Lord while here on earth, without those supplications, without the feeling of penitence, without the thanksgiving reasons, adoration of the Lord is a prelude, a foretaste of what heavenly bliss and joy will be. I believe heaven is to be totally embraced by God without any fear, without any anxiety of separation, without any hesitation that it is going to cost us something. If heaven is being embraced by God in loving, joyful adoration, I would like to look at purgatory as something like that too. Maybe we can say purgatory is something like this. You die, you are dirty, you are messed up, you are not properly clothed, and you smell, you stink. But you are not so bad. You are not bad for hell, but you are not good for heaven. So what happens? In purgatory, with your stink, with your messed up situation, God embraces you. And when God embraces you, are you going to feel comfortable? You're going to feel very uncomfortable. You're going to feel very bad because an all-holy loving God embraces you and you know you're not worthy. Why? It is because you're looking at yourself. You're looking at your imperfection. You're smelling yourself. You're seeing yourself as very dirty, as soil stained. But the more God embraces you, the more you look at God and the less you look at yourself. And when the time comes, when you are no longer looking at yourself and you're looking at the face of God, purgatory cleansing has ended because you have entered 
eternal bliss. To be in heaven is to be perpetually embraced by our loving God without fear of being separated ever again, without the anxiety of being tempted and falling, without the anxiety of being so unworthy and uh, stained. Just being there, being embraced, and worrying about nothing except to bask in the radiance of that love. We look forward to heaven. As the Americans say, you ain't seen nothing yet. The best is yet to come. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard. We have no experience of heaven. But when we adore the Lord here on earth, it is a foretaste of what is to come. At the appointed time, may you be embraced by the Lord, even if you feel dirty. And then think less and less of yourself and look more and more at God. And when the time comes, look into His eyes as He looks into your eyes and into your soul. And then, love forever.